crazy one thumping on it. First, a group of truck drivers is planning to disrupt key supermarket freight routes tomorrow, sparking fears the action could impact food supply. Serena Andaloro is in Sydney tonight. Serena, what are the truckies protesting? And good evening to you. Well, a list of demands is being circulated on social media. Among them, no more forced vaccinations for truck drivers and no more mandatory testing. But they're also asking for no more masks. Now, we have seen ma um, maps of the action that is being uh, planned for tomorrow. We can tell you key freight routes around the country are being targeted with a particular focus on what's called the food bowl in southern New South Wales. This is the area where most of Australia is food for our supermarket shelves is grown. Key trade routes in and out of that area are being singled out to cause maximum disruption. And we had a little bit of, of a taste of that today on the border with Queensland. The Pacific Highway was brought to a standstill. Take a listen. We want to end these, these lockdowns. We don't want forced vaccinations and those types of things. And we want to be able to just open up the country, learn to live with the virus. At our end, you go, how many people have to sacrifice their beliefs and their choice of not getting the vaccine? The lockdowns and the, you know, the, and, and, you know, the masks, the, you know, the testing for the, the, these truck drivers every two, three days, gonna, you know, it's, it's got to end. Serena, there is some good news. There are hopes that several local government areas in Sydney could be freed from the harshest restrictions. Yeah, and the Premier has flagged that, but she hasn't revealed which ones. Judging by the case numbers, though, the Georges River, the uh, Bayside local government area and uh, the Burwood local government areas are the first in line, given their case numbers are relatively low. We have heard the Burwood Mayor over the past couple of days being quite vocal on the issue. They've only seen six cases in the past week. But remember, uh, the Georges River local government area has been promised a relaxing of restrictions for weeks now and we haven't seen anything change there but we have seen another record another record day of case numbers 1290 cases the numbers are more and more alarming by the day they are but those vaccination numbers on it.